What's going on, y'all? In this video, I'm going to show you how Studio One's metering is different than other DAWs. So what inspired this video is uh, Anthony Cummings uh, commented on this session that I mixed here live on YouTube asking, uh, how is it that your drum bus is redlining, but it's not affecting your mix bus? And I started to explain to him that Studio One handles metering differently. But uh, then I realized that the reason for that in particular uh, track was because the pre-fader metering was on. I'll show you that real quick and then we'll get more into the metering in Studio One. So, uh, like I said, this is a session that I mixed uh, live on YouTube. And this first track here, this red track, is my drums. And when I hit play, you'll notice that it's in the red as far as the metering. But then if you look over at my main outputs on the far right, it's not clipping. And again, the reason for that was I realized I had the pre-fader metering on. So if I turn that off and now hit play. We've got a level under zero now. So back to, so to Studio One's metering, uh, there's, let's see where to start with this. So you'll note, first thing is that you'll notice is that even in that pre-metering, I'm hitting well in the red. I'm pushing up to the top of the metering, but you can see there's no clipping on the individual tracks in Studio One, and that's because there is no individual clip indicator for the individual tracks in Studio One. The only clip indicator is on the main output. So you can push a track into the red and not have it clip the mix bus because the way Studio One's metering works is even as long as you're, uh, how do I put this? So I really feel like Studio One's mixer section is like a analog console because in digital, we have uh, DBFS, which is uh, DB full scale, which means zero is the absolute top that you can go. Looking at the metering in Studio One, you'll notice that it goes up to 10. We can go 10 dB over zero dB in Studio One in the on the uh, console channels. Now, uh, let's find, let's see, this track here. Now, if I record arm this, you'll notice that the metering now will switch and the highest it goes to zero, which is dB full scale. So I don't know what exactly the console metering is, but it, it definitely allows you to go over zero. You can push it over zero without clipping uh, the mix bus and that's because the mix bus in studio one is summing all of your individual tracks and where this really handles it differently than other DAWs is studio one doesn't care if your individual channel gets pushed over zero as long as the sum of all of those channels don't go over zero that's what's going to clip your main output in studio one is the sum of all of your individual tracks going over zero uh, so to show kind of an example of that so this red track here i've got a, a tone generator on and i've got a level meter on it uh, we're going to pin that and i've got a level meter on the main output we'll pin that and I'm going to mute the main output so we don't hear the tone generator. Let's bring up the tone generator. So you'll see that the tone generator is at zero. Zero dB. Look at the level meter, zero dB. But look at the main output, negative three dB. So Again, this is where Studio One will allow individual tracks to go over zero dB, just as long as the sum of all of those individual tracks don't go over zero, then you won't clip. So to further show how Studio One's metering is different from other DAWs, I've got a screenshot of Logic here, and you can see that my drum channel is peaking 0.3 db over and you can see the main output reflects that 0 0.3 db over so in logic whatever that individual track is over it's going to mirror that on the main output 
And I just showed you how Studio One uh, doesn't uh, do that. Also, if we take a closer look at the meters in Logic, you'll notice that they are DBFS because they're stopping at zero. Zero is the top of the meter. You can't go over zero. And again, Studio One lets you push it over zero. So another unique thing here, or uh, something that's worth pointing out, is that the metering value in Studio One is also represented by the fader value. Uh, so what I mean by that is, if you see this, this tone generator's at zero, and metering shows up to zero, the fader is at uh, zero. If I move the fader up to plus six, we have plus six represented in the metering as well. So other DAWs, the fader value is separate from the metering value because the metering value is dB full scale, where zero is the top, Studio One 10 is the top. And when I say other DAWs, I'm referring to Logic and Pro Tools. I can't speak for all DAWs, but I know that Logic and Pro Tools operates differently where the fader value is different from what you see on the metering value. And they also differ in the way that you can push uh, the fader above zero. So Studio One lets us push the fader up to plus 10. Uh, Pro Tools will let you push it to plus 12. Logic will let you push it up to plus six. But in Studio One, you can see that the fader value is also reflected on the with the metering value. So don't be afraid to push your tracks over zero in Studio One. I'm not gonna lie, in Pro Tools when I'm recording or mixing, I ignore that individual track clip indicator. If my individual track clips and I'm tracking a vocal, it's not the end of the world, it still sounds fine. Uh, same way with mixing, if that clip indicator goes off, as long as it sounds fine, I'm good. Uh, now, you know, it's different for the master. I'm just talking about the individual tracks. Uh, but in Studio One, now if you're tracking in Studio One, yeah, we have a clip indicator uh, there. But mixing, we don't have one, and I don't have to worry about it. And I like it that way. And to be clear, when I'm saying don't be afraid to push the tracks in the red, I'm not saying that you should be clipping or that clipping is okay. You just want to make sure that you don't clip your main output. Uh, what I'm saying about don't be afraid to push it into the red is, you know, when I'm mixing normally, maybe my snare, kick, or drums and vocals will be in the red, but everything else in the mix will be pulled down. So the sum of all of that, even though those individual channels are going into the red, is not going over zero on my main output. Therefore, my mix bus is not clipping. So that's what I'm saying by don't be afraid to push some of your individual tracks into the red as long as you have your you know gain staging and everything on your other tracks intact to where they're not going over zero as well then you're not going to clip the main output but that's how Studio One's metering is different than other DAWs uh, any questions comments let me know and I'll catch y'all next time I want to invite everyone to check out my new podcast, The Faders Up Podcast. It's a podcast about pro audio. I've got me and three other Nashville professionals. We're discussing pro audio, pro audio topics, pro audio lifestyle. And it's available on Apple Podcasts and it's available on Spotify. So check it out, rate it, let me know what you think.